Hi everyone, welcome to the Perler Lab. I'm Jen and this is my daughter, Morgan. So as you heard Nate say, we are about to make a really fun Halloween project. We are making Halloween bats. Halloween bats. So we have some bats floating around. We have them here on our pumpkin decor. We have some bat garland. So we're gonna show you all the cool things that you can do with the bats and we are really excited. So. Thanks for joining us here today. We love Halloween, don't we, Morgan? Yes. So the very first thing that you need for the class is the downloadable printable pattern sheet. And this came um, in your parent or the adult email that signed up for the class. Um, it sounds like we also have a link um, that if you need it, you can download it now. This time it's two pages. So we have a large and small bat that is blue with some pink and then we also have a large and small that's blue with green because we didn't know which one you wanted and we wanted to give you a lot of options. So Morgan will do one color and I'll do the other. So now we have our two sheets and then the most important thing you need is our perler, perler beads, right. So we recommended for this project the 5,000 bead bucket. It's the glow bead bucket. So we're really excited to show you how these glow in the dark at the end. Um, and so we'll go through the colors in just a minute. We'll just talk about the rest of the supplies. So we have our pattern sheet. We have our beads. We also need ironing paper. Ironing paper comes in the bucket. Um, you might already have this at home because the best part about ironing paper, it's reusable. It's reusable. So if you joined us before, or if this is your first time, but you've made perler projects before, you probably have a piece and that's great. So you can get that out and reuse it time and time again. We also need the large square clear pegboard and these come two in a pack. Um, so they also have ironing paper in them. That's another way to get the ironing paper. So Morgan has one and I have one. So one pack was great for us. And then Morgan and I both like to use the tweezers. This is optional. Um, we also use our hands sometimes. So you'll, you'll probably see us do both, but the tweezers is optional. And then of course your household iron. So the most important thing about the household iron is that one, we really need you to wait for an adult to help you do the ironing because it's hot and we want everyone to be safe. Um, second is the iron should have no steam no water no water and no steam so when it's time to turn it on we'll put it on a medium heat but please make sure that your iron has no water in it so with that being said i think we're ready to begin right morgan yes okay so which of the bats are you going to do today i'm going to be doing the big one of the green okay so the the blue and the green and i'm going to go ahead and do the small one and see how that turns out um with the with the pink and orange. So why don't you read the colors um, that we need here today? All right, the color key is glow orange, glow pink, glow blue, glow green, and black. And black, okay. So Morgan and I, before the class, we opened up our uh, bee bucket and we separated the beads into this tray. So you don't have to do that. We just did that so the class goes a little bit smoother for us because we're sharing some of the beads. Um, it's just easier for us to separate, but you can just grab a handful, put it on your countertop, pick them out that way. Um, you can separate them into little containers, but we have them all ready to go. So we are going to get started. If you haven't done a project with us before, you place the bead, the pegboard right over the pattern sheet and line up with the pattern. So the pegs will be over the circles that indicate what color you're gonna put on the pattern. And we can get started. All right. I'm so, gonna be starting with the black of the black and green. Oh, very cool. So when you're doing the project, it's really up to you how you do it. Um, sometimes we've seen people go from top to bottom, left to right. I like to personally color do color. it by color, right? So I'm gonna start. Too with the glow orange, and that's what I'm gonna fill in first. So for me, I grab a couple beads and then with my tweezers, this is how I fill them in and you just drop it right on top of the pegboard. I'm getting excited for Halloween, how about you? I am too. Halloween is one of my 
favorite holidays. It's so fun. It is my favorite holiday. It is your favorite? That's yeah. awesome. And at any time, if you guys feel like we're going too fast or too slow, too slow you can throw that up in the Q&A and we'll certainly try to slow down or speed up. But what's great about Perler Beads is you can always come back to this project. So if you really wanted to do all four bats, or maybe even two, and you don't have it completed by the time we're done. we're done, it's no big deal. You can come back and do it. You can do a bunch. And you don't have to follow by the color key. Right, right. You That's can go instead of maybe for the green, for the black and green, but you can use the pink one for maybe a pink and black. Yeah, perler beads really allow you to get creative, creative mm -hmm. super creative, right? Yes. If you, you want to make them all black bat, you could. You change up the colors. So do you think bats, Morgan, are creepy or do you think they're nice? Should we ask our friends? Oh yeah. It's okay, kind of what like do you guys think? Question. Do you think bats are creepy or do you think they're nice? We would love to hear. A little bit of like a tough question. It is a tough question. I think it depends on how big the bat is for me. Really? Yeah. So I think the bats we're making today are nice. They seem like they would yeah, be nice. Yeah, nice. What do you guys think? They're nice or creepy? Colorful. Tell us. And they're a lot more colorful. What do you think? Chloe thinks they're nice. I agree, Chloe. Ben and Caroline, ben and Caroline coming from Wisconsin also say nice. The Ford family thinks they're nice. Four. Ford family. Ford family, nice. Great. I mean, certainly the bats we're making today are nice. All right, so we just finished one wing of the black and now I'm gonna move on to um, the glow green. Oh, very cool. So you're gonna do it a wing. You're gonna do the yeah. full wing and then move but on. The color by the wing. Okay. So it sounded like someone was from Wisconsin. Where else are you guys coming in from today? Our Perler lab is in Pennsylvania. So we are starting to see our fall weather, we are cold. feeling, it's usually pretty chilly on Halloween for us when we go trick or treating. We would love to hear where you guys are coming from today. North Dakota, the Ford family, that's awesome. Chloe's also from Wisconsin. We have a lot of Wisconsin. <laughs> right. That's so cool. And guys, um, what is like your favorite color we're using today? Oh, that's a good project? question. I'll tell you mine. Mine is the glow blue. Glow blue. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm using the orange right now, but I'm excited to use the pink. I think the pink, the glow pink might be my favorite. It's really bright, which the I'm going to move on to that right now. The glow, the glow blue kind of looks like an oceany, pretty color. It is. I think they're all pretty. Mm -hmm.
you know, I've never seen a bat in real life. Have you ever seen a bat? I've seen a bat. You have? Before, yeah. Where? Um, outside? Yeah, it was outside. I remember we went on like a little walk. I think it was. Um, oh, in the summertime? Yeah, with our cousins. And you saw them in the sky flying around? Yeah. Have you guys ever seen a bat? We also have seen a bat hanging upside down from our school. Oh. One, one time I was in our school. But don't worry, they got it. <laughs> Well, it's cool because that's how bats sleep when they're hanging upside down. They sleep upside down. It's so crazy. So it's the place in Alabama, Milwaukee Zoo. In Milwaukee Zoo. All right, Lots I just of bats. One wing. You're going really good. Thanks. How are you? Love it. It's coming together. Why we're putting the beads on, I also want to tell you guys that we would love to see your projects at the end. So if you could have an adult take a picture of it and throw it on social media and hashtag make it with Michaels, we would love to see it. You could also hashtag Perler Art and Perler. We've already seen a lot of good. good we love seeing what you guys. Um, have done with the projects. We show them to everybody here. At the Pro Lab. At the they Pro Lab, everyone loves to see. Yeah, how creative you guys are. You can get with the collisions. So speaking of Halloween, you know what costume you're going to be, right? Yeah. Well, you guys, anyone want to share what they're going to be for Halloween? I usually throw on a witch's hat, right? During, during trick-or-treating. But your costumes are always really creative, Morgan. Mm -hmm. You want to tell everybody what you're going to be? Sure. Um, I'm going to be, you guys know what Harry Potter is? I'm going to be a Ravenclaw from Harry Potter. So cool. And also have my own little wand. You have a great wand. That's awesome. It's your mom and Ginger's wand. Ooh, Ben, a red panda. That's a cool idea. Caroline, a meerkat. Poor family still figuring it out. Well, you have a whole week. Plenty of time to come up with great costumes, right, Morgan? Yep, we got ours um, very early. We did get ours early, only because we decided early. Yeah. Because the shipping on the Hay Pie took a while. Yeah, we didn't know. Yeah. How's your back going? Pretty good. I'm on my second low green on my wing. That's awesome. You're going good. Yeah, it's going great. Remember, guys, if we we're going too fast or too slow, just write in the Q and A, and we will. Um, try to like, slow down or do a little bit faster. And we'll go through the ironing. We'll take our time and iron both projects when it's time to iron. So that you will need a adult or correct or around you. Correct. To watch you or maybe help you. Right. We also have a lot of great patterns on perler.com. So once we're done with this class, if you guys are interested in making more, if you go to perler.com, we have so many patterns. There's fruit and sports and all kinds of different holidays. I know my favorite one. Tell us. It's a 3D waffle. A 3D waffle. That is a really cool pattern we have on there. And then you stack them. And there's like chocolate chips and butter. So syrup. neat. It's really cool. All right, I'm moving on to glow green. I'm almost done with glow green on for my second week. You're doing great. Thank you. So are you. Wow. 
one more go green. I messed up, that happened. I put a blue green in a spot of a black by accident. A lot of times I'll move the pegboard over just to double check my pattern, which I knew it didn't look right. So there we go. Way off. <laughs> I think oh, it's fine now. Yeah, you're good. Line it up, you're good. Okay. And that's, that's the great thing because it's easy to do. It's easy to fix. You're doing great. So I think I'm going to move sky over and wait for ironing. I think Caroline just finished the creepy lab at Halloween project. Oh, Caroline just did the creepy lab project. And that's awesome. Now they're working on the Empire State Building. The Empire, that's huge. Great job. Please send us pics or hashtag them we'd still love to see them you hashtag perler.com excuse me hashtag perler or perler art class that's awesome we would love to see it so morgan i might start to iron mine and walk everyone through it yep is that right. okay mm -hmm. and then you can take your time So I'm going to start to iron my project while Morgan finishes up hers. If you're still putting your beads on the pegboard, don't worry. We have plenty of time. And then this way we can show the ironing process more than once. Um, we also have how to iron on perler.com. So if you need to go back and take a look at it, um, there's, there's certainly instructions and step-by-step -step that will get you through the ironing process. So if you haven't, go ahead and turn your iron on. I just turned mine on and I put it at about a medium heat setting. And again, don't forget no water, uh, no steam, just in your household iron. And so I'm gonna let mine heat up for just a minute. And then we'll show you how to iron our project. Now, something that's a little bit different about this project is we have all glow beads, but then we also have black beads, which are not glow. So talks of, that explains the material of the beads a little bit. So the glow beads actually have a, a material in them called phosphors and that makes them glow. So because of that, they iron at a little bit of a different rate than the black. So we just have to be careful when we're ironing, they're gonna melt just a little bit faster. So we just have to watch where we're ironing where the black beads are to make sure that they're ironing um, just as well. So it sounds harder than it is, but we'll show you. And I just wanted to make sure everybody knew. So I'm gonna start and ironing my small bat. You take the ironing paper and you put it on top. And then I have the iron. And I give it about a medium pressure. And I lift the iron. You can see the beads are already starting to melt. You can see them come through the ironing paper. And then I have black eyes and mouth on this bat. So I just want to make sure that I'm giving the spots where the black are just a little bit of a heavier iron as these guys start to melt. And the type of pattern this is, the wings really go out. So there's far edges that I 
want to make sure I'm getting. And again, you can see through the ironing paper that they're all starting to fuse together. And if you want, while you're still, while the beads are there, you can lift it up and check it out. And then I take the pegboard and I flip it and it pops off like this. Okay, and then you can see, you can almost see that they're melting here on the back side. And then I fold my ironing paper over to do the front. Now it also depends how you like your project to look. So if you want your project to look very melted, which some people do, then you can give it a, hard, a harder ironing. And so now I'm going in front. I wanna see my beads open a little bit. Put this off. And it's going to be warm, so just be careful. I'm gonna let this cool for just a minute and then I'll take it off the ironing paper and I'll show you guys. And Morgan's doing great. Are you guys doing the big bat or the little bat or both? Let us know. And that'll give us a good idea of how fast or slow you need us to go. You know what else comes with Halloween? The Halloween candy. <laughs> right, Morgan? Great job. So now I can take this off. It's still a little warm, but there it is. I'm gonna put this guy right here. And while Morgan's doing that, I'm gonna start another small bat. We might not get him done, but I can start to make another one for our collection here. So I'll start with some blue too. Mm -mm. Let us know if you guys tried the ironing or if you have any questions and we'll go back to ironing in just a minute. Just do the blue green over here like you did. Maybe I'll start with the green. Job, Morgan. And when you're finished with the bats, you can do a lot of different things with them. You can put them out on your table for Halloween as decoration. You can make a magnet out of it, get a magnet backing and make a magnet, put some Velcro on it. Bring it on your bulletin board. If you go into the classroom, you can take it to your teacher as a Halloween. We did a teacher lunch. Surprise, we did. We've done a teacher appreciation class, which is fun. And next up, we'll have a holiday class. So make sure you check back to michaels.com for our upcoming holiday class.
can't wait to see these glow in the dark. Okay, there we go. Great job. Mm -hmm. You can also put these on a pumpkin. Yes. If you have pumpkins on your front porch and you can put the glow in the dark, that on your pumpkin, that would be so cool. Okay. So I think we're gonna go to Ironing Morgan's project. I don't wanna hold you guys up and you might be ready to iron again. So I'm just gonna move mine aside. Morgan is very carefully going to move her huge bat over. Okay, so here we'll do another iron. Put the ironing paper over the bat. Yeah, so here are some other ones we did. Like here we did a little creative. So instead of using the orange, we used Oh paper. yeah. Okay. Here we will start to iron. And like um he said again, the black does melt a little slower than the glowing dark. So you want to be a little bit um harder on the black. Right, because those glow in the dark beads do melt quickly. Yes. And the black melts a tiny bit slower. And just please make sure you get mom, dad, or an adult to help you with the ironing. So I'm just doing a medium pressure. I'm seeing the beads start to come through the ironing paper. I'm coming down here and make sure I get the edges of the bat's wings. And I'm just going to give a little extra to where the black is. Make sure we get the edges out here. Yeah, because so she started her second bat and she didn't finish. You guys can always just come back. Um, it's exactly right. Two, but it's exactly right. It's on the Michael's page. Get called for dinner, right? You can just yep. push it aside. You can come back. So now we've ironed this whole it is side. All supported. Take the pegboard, flip it, and pop this guy off. We're almost done. Fold it over, and now we're into the other side. And again, remember it's gonna be a little bit warm. Still a little hot, just be careful. And there is our bat. So cool, you guys. So we've made some small bats, some big bats. And I can fly around. <laughs> So I think what we're gonna do is, so again, we just wanna remind you, you can hang them as decoration. You can garland. make a garland. We have some hanging from the ceiling, but we would love to show you how, how they glow in the dark. So we got a little creative before the class and we put them on top of a stick and made wands out of them. So we're going to show you our glow in the dark bats. So on the count of three, right? We're gonna show you our bats. Should we, should we forward face the camera on this one? Okay, so one, right. two, two, three. three. Oh, <laughs> look at how cool you guys, we made glow in the dark bats. That is awesome, awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining us here today. We hope you enjoyed the Halloween make your own bats project as much as we did. Um, I think we might, now that we've put them on a stick, we might take them out for the treating with us that night, right? So it'll work a little bit like a flashlight. Mm -hmm. So that'll be very cool. So thank you guys again for joining us. Please don't forget to hashtag make it with Michaels, hashtag Perler and hashtag Perler art class. We would love, love to see your projects and please check back at michaels.com for our next class, which will be a holiday class. So we hope you guys have a great Saturday yes. and an amazing Halloween. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Bye.